Hey, Nate here with a training video on how to send a 3CX welcome email, how to retrieve it in your email, how to download the app. Uh, for this instance, it's uh, Windows. If you had an Android or a smartphone, then within the email, you'd want to click on that link. Um, and then how to install the, you'll have an attachment and then you can install that as well. So first thing you'll want to do is log in to your 3CX management console, head over to extensions, and then you're gonna to wanna to highlight the extension that you wanna send the welcome email to, and then you can just click this right here. Or, and if you wanna do multiples or bulk, you can hold the control key on your, on your uh, keyboard and highlight the extensions you wanna use. Okay, so for this case, we'll just hit this one and then send email. And then it sends the email. All right, I've already done this. So then you want to click on the link in your email or click on the new email and you'll have this welcome email from the 3CX management console. That's going to have some links and some information based on your extension, such as uh, pin extension number um, and how to retrieve your voicemail by the phone. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head down here and we're going to download the appropriate client for your device. And in this case, it's Windows. So we'll click that. It's going to download the link or download the program. We'll hit Keep. And once it's down, don't, downloading, we will install it. As you can see, if I scroll down in here, I have an, an attachment. If, depending on the mail client that you're using, it could be in a different spot. But uh, you would want to download this after after this is installed and up and running so we'll click on that to run it right, next accept and we'll hit launch Okay, so I'm getting this error message, I think because I have a previous version installed on here. Configure it, eat them. Again, this is a demo version, that's why I have so many. <clears throat> but it, it, you could also have, uh, oh, there it is right there. Okay. Oh, actually, let me delete that because we need to go through the proper setup for a new user. Okay, so right now there's no account configured, so I'll need to go back to the email. And now I'm gonna download this attachment. And then I'm gonna click it. And it's gonna auto provision this right here. This has to be running. So makes it real simple. And it says there's no phone connected and they are correct. So let me do that. Let me plug in the phone that this is used for. Okay, while that's booting. Okay, so now this is like, I don't know if you want to call it a glitch or what have you, but let's see if it happens still. In the past with this new version, if I were to exit out of here, this account would not stay. So let's see if it does. I need to exit out actually. There it is. And it could have been actually if you restart the computer, but let's see if this does the same thing. What it would do is it wouldn't save that configuration that we, um, the attachment, so let's see if it does without properly Xing out the first time of the application. Okay, well, it didn't do it. Um, it could be just for the simple fact that I didn't restart the computer that may have been, or maybe, maybe that's been resolved. But 
for the sake of um, even finding out what you're going to want to do the first time that you launch this and you install the attachment is just come right here to the settings and click exit client okay now that that configuration that you loaded will save so if you needed to restart your computer uh, or what have you it will it will save uh, that concludes this training i uh, hope it was helpful and useful and informational thank you